Hi everyone, welcome to my channel today. So I've got a H&M haul and a try on video for you today. A few things that I picked up online. I'm gonna put them all on, show you what they look like on, but I'll also show you some other ways that each piece could be styled and worn. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start first with this pink blazer. I love a pink blazer in the spring and H&M do do nice blazers. It is double breasted. I usually don't like double breasted blazers, but because it's quite a loose sort of flexible fabric, I can actually wear this undone. I very simply paired it with some black jeans. These do come from H&M. I'll link them in the description box below for you. A white t-shirt, nude heels and a black bag. I also like pink paired with a very light blue denim, like these looks here. So I've tried that look with some blue jeans. These jeans again come from H&M. The same white t-shirt that I had on before and the nude heels. There's other ways that I'm gonna try this blazer. I think it looks nice with all black. So I could try it something like this, or with all white. I love that look in the spring. And I think it looks great warm with stripe print as well. So I'll try all of those looks. Gives me lots of different styling options. Got this in a size medium and it was 35 pounds. I saw this outfit online and I loved it. And then when I saw this shirt on H&M, I thought I'd try and recreate the look. So I've tried this exactly like the image with a white blazer. Now this white blazer is really old. I've got my eye on one from Reese in the sale at the moment. And I think this would work beautifully with it. And paired that with some jeans. Another way I'll try the shirt is with a navy blazer and some white jeans like this look. It's a great look for summer. Now I've got this in a size small and it still comes up really big. It clearly says oversized on the description, but I guess I just thought by going down to a size small it would kind of counterbalance a little bit, but it is still a little bit too big. I've got a coat to show you next. I like the length of this. It's described as a short coat. I like the design, I like the lapels. It's got a belt too, so you can wear the coat done up or loose fitting as I probably will do. It costs £40, it'll be more in dollars. And I thought this would look nice, styled with jeans and a lovely transition piece into the spring. I've paired the coat very simply with the cream cashmere knit and the blue jeans I showed you before and a little black bag. Now it does come in a different colour as well. It comes in a beige mal, they call it. I wasn't quite sure which colour I preferred, so I got both to test them out. And I've just paired this one with a white t-shirt and black jeans. I've left them loose, but you can tie them too. I do like a gingham print and I like the style of this top. It's got little puff sleeves into a kind of a leg and mutton style arm and it's designed so that you could either tuck it in or leave it hanging out. I like a black and white gingham top paired simply with some black jeans. And to that I'd add a white blazer. This is my old white blazer. It is a little bit small now. A really nice quality white blazer would work really well with this outfit. And I've just put this brown shopper bag with it as well. It's just a very simple outfit to put together. I really like this blouse when I saw it. I love the fabric. It's really floaty. A little bit see-through, but I'll just put a camisole top underneath that and it'll be absolutely fine. I love the high neck. It's got really beautiful balloon sleeves too. It's got a smart feeling to it and I think it looks a little bit more expensive than what it actually is. This is another one that you could wear hanging loose or wear it tucked in too. I've put it with black jeans again but smarter trousers would look nice and a trench coat and a black bag and I've also tried it with a black blazer as well with black jeans again for two very understated looks. I'm always drawn to a trench coat when I see them and I really like the colour of this one. I've got it in a size medium again it comes up quite big think I could have gone for a small and I'm not particularly keen on the sleeves because they're quite strange there's no detailing or buttons on them and it almost feels like they're unfinished but other than that I do like the trench coat I've tried this two different ways with blue jeans I've paired it with the cream knit I showed you before and a blue knit this is also from H&M and it's incredibly soft it's a really lovely knit other ways I'll try this coat is like this with a camisole type top or maybe a lace style top. I also love this look and I think this coat would look fabulous with an amazing structured dress like this with a gorgeous orange or any coloured bright bag. I like this look too even though this is a very light beige trench coat. I've given this one a go with this knit from H&M. I should have tried it with a black bag too but I actually forgot. I think it would look really nice with the black bag. I saw these striped jumpers and I like both of the colours and I wasn't quite sure which one to get so I thought I'd get them both and try them on. Here's both the jumpers with the black jeans. They're exactly the same but in a different colourway. I've tried the black and white one with the black blazer and red bag and the black and camel one I've tried a, a couple of different ways. I've tried it with the short coat from before and I think it goes great with that. 
and I've tried it with a camel blazer and different coloured bags. I've tried it with a red structured one and a brown shopper. It's great to have a striped jumper in the wardrobe, it's a great full back piece and these are just nice simple little jumpers and I think they're around the same sort of price as well. I thought this dress had Chanel vibes and quite 60s looking. It wasn't very clear on the website how long it was so I wasn't sure if it was going to be too short for me. It just comes to about the top of my knees. I had to put sunglasses on with this dress, I couldn't resist and I thought my little black bag would go perfectly with it. Standing still like this, like I am in the video, possibly it's a tiny bit on the short side but when I move around it doesn't feel or look quite as short.